Hello everybody, so today we are talking about magnetometry, which is the use of a magnometer to measure and map magnetic variations in the Earth's soil. So the Earth has a magnetic field, as you all know, which is why compasses work. So there is a magnetic constant, which changes depending on where you are at on the world. But as an archaeologist, wherever you are researching, you can find out what that constant is. And then using a magnometer, you can measure variations of the magnetic field in the soil. So the way that you use this is in a grid system. So it'll be three to five feet by three to five feet squares. And you'll set that up, let it record its information and then download it on your computer, and then using a special program, it will map what those magnetic variations are. It's typically going to be a grayscale, so it will either show up lighter or darker, depending on what you're picking up. And then at the end, you're going to put all those little squares back together, or the program will, and then you'll be able to see an entire picture of the area you're researching, and you're going to find a couple different things. So first of all, you're going to see burned material. So when something's burned, the ion particles in that material are permanently changed and the magnetic field is different. Um, so burned material, we're going to be finding burn pits. So um, they didn't have garbage disposals a long time ago. So they would um, take all of their trash and put it in a pit and burn it. This can show us permanent settlements. We're also going to be looking at burned human remains as well. Um, so this can show us a lot about um, what they thought about death. Maybe they burned all these people, but they didn't burn this one person. That can show us something. Um, and then the other thing that we're going to be looking at too is we're going to be finding burned material that is deliberate or not. So if there was a catastrophic event like a fire, um, we're also going to be able to see that as well. And then the other thing we can see is bacterial action. Pretty much this is going to pertain to bodies of water. Um, Water has bacteria and organisms which are going to change the magnetic makeup of the soil. Um, but waterways change over time, so we might be able to find old river channels or old bodies of water, which can also show us permanent settlements or even trade networks if they connect a bunch of different places. So there are some cons with this technology. It's super sensitive. Um, you cannot have anything magnetic near it, like jewelry, anything like that. Otherwise, it's going to completely mess up your data. Um, and then... It also only measures six and a half feet below the surface. So if you have something within that range, that's wonderful. But if it is below that, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to pick it up with this. So even though it is accurate, um, you have to be super careful. And if the circumstance works and you can find something, then boom, you just got a lot of information. But it's only going to work in the conditions that um, allow it to.